There's no denying that the sound of analog gear is still superior to digital plugins. But analog has been losing popularity basically since digital audio processing was invented. And I think the reason for that is because it's simply a pain in the ass to work with analog. If I want to use my bus compressor, my self-built DBX VCA based bus compressor, I need to, well, first have converters, maybe have a patch bay, cabling, routing, all that kind of stuff. Then dial in some settings and enjoy the awesomeness of an analog bus compressor. Now that does sound a little bit annoying, but it's not that painful. Until you realize you can only use this thing one time in a session, there's no easy way to do A-B testing and recalling involves taking pictures or writing down the settings. <sighs> and I think a lot of people that use analog gear can agree with me that these type of workflow issues cannot be overstated. For me, if something is difficult to use, I also rather grab a plugin. And that is also the reason why my tape machine has a custom built relay box. Because normally I would need to patch 48 channels, which is 96 connectors in order to fully connect the tape machine. And with the relay box, it's just one switch. Now, why did I tell this story? Well, I've been testing the West Audio NG bus comp for the last two months, roughly. And it made me realize yet again, how cool hybrid equipment actually is. Because for starters, this thing comes with a plugin that automatically recalls your session every time you open it. So you don't need to do manual recalling on this thing anymore. And you can also write automation for the parameters, which is, you know, you cannot do that manually in the analog domain because you have to do it the same time every single time with your hands. And we are humans and humans never do the exact same thing two times. And the plugin works really well. Look, I'm just opening a session and it immediately clicked back to the setting it was in when I closed the session. And you can fully control the unit from this plugin and you can add automation in the way that you're used to with other plugins. Now, what I found to be a really cool feature of this plugin is that you can actually disconnect the plugin from the unit. And now whenever I'm touching and eldering the sessions on the unit, the plugin uh, doesn't change and keeps its own setting. If I now reconnect the plugin again, it will click back to the setting that the plugin was in. And this feature is there for when you're using the bus comp multiple times in a session and you've printed out certain things. However, that's not all. One of the things that I like to do with plugins is A-B testing. I do that because I think our ears are better at discerning two hard differences than adjusting knobs a little bit uh, and, and figuring out from there if it's better or not. I really like contrasted settings. And the NG Bus Comp has this feature as well. And that is like super cool. Like you can just compare different settings in here. Imagine how you would do that on analog gear. Like leave a comment down below how you, how you would do something like that. It's, it's, it's a big pain in the ass to do it. I personally would really like to see more equipment makers incorporate hybrid features like this in equipment like this. I, I would actually also love to see an upgrade of the 500 series uh, standard where they're adding extra pins for digital communication where you can recall 500 series racks just with standard software that would be built into every DAW or whatever. That, that's what I would love to see. I think those are steps that really could bring audio engineering up to yet another level. Wes is already doing this by the way with 500 series racks, but it's not standardized. I would love to see it as a standard, but yeah. I think you all know where I'm going with standards. Anyway, I've left two things unanswered in this video. And uh, the first of that is of course, the sound. So it's a very clean compressor by default. A little bit too clean if you ask me. And that is because you have to dial in the color yourself. And that is the feature that I like the most of this compressor. It's the THD. Mm -hmm. 
and the iron, the transformer. So this way the compressor can really be what you want it to be. If you want, you can even go into extremes. And of course, you can compare settings. So I basically made a clean setting and a dirty setting. And this way I can easily check what I think of the differences between the two. Maybe I can turn off iron here as well, like that. Okay, so I think this one is a little bit too dirty. Let's compare it again, cool. I think the clean one, let's try the clean one with a little bit of THD. See how easy it is. The second thing that I didn't answer is what I didn't like about the bus comp. And there's only one thing that I think Wes could have done better. And that is basically implementing auto gain in the iron stage. Because right now I have to both do the iron pad and the makeup gain at the same time. And I would love it for these two parameters to be linked. Uh, I did actually email this to Wes Audio and they said it was a great idea and that they already were thinking of imp implementing something like that. So it could be that this comes to the NGBus comp in the future as a software update. Would be really nice if they would do that because that's literally the only thing that I think this thing lacks in its current form. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For the disclosure, I requested the Wes Audio review unit, and that's actually because one of my friends suggested it for me to take a look at. So uh, Fika, if you're watching, thanks a lot for the video idea. And the people from Wes Audio, huge thanks for helping me out with sending me uh, this unit for this demo. They were super awesome, very quick to respond, and they didn't have any saying in what I'm saying in this video. Everything that I'm saying is my own honest and independent opinion. Now, as for me, I would love to buy the NG Bus Comp for my own workflow. It has really been a pleasure to work with it. However, at this moment, I have different financial goals. So I am putting this investment on a bit of a longer term, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to see the NG Bus Comp in my studio as soon as the time is right to purchase one. So yeah, that's it. If you like my videos and want to support me, consider using my affiliate links. The affiliate links will be in the description down below where you can also directly buy an NG Bus Comp if you want to. They are a bit expensive, so I can fully understand if you don't want to buy one directly. There are actually a lot of very awesome videos on YouTube about this compressor where they are showing the sound in a different way and a very cool way. So, so really check that all out as well. My affiliate links, Tom and Sweetwater, and Plugin Boutique are over here. And if you use it for your next purchase, it's highly appreciated if you do. Another way to support the channel is by becoming a channel member. You can do that using the join button down below. And if the join button doesn't show up, you have to go to your web browser instead of the app. As a channel member, you get early access to videos and access to exclusive content, depending on the level that you're at. I'll link an interesting playlist about that over here. Another way to support the channel is by staying subscribed and watching more videos. I'll link an interesting video over here. Thanks a lot for watching, keep pushing, and bye bye.